Let's talk about the installation of our Wine Guardian humidifier. Uh, as I had mentioned, we've got three versions, an integrated unit, a standalone version, and a pure standalone system, which uh, uses 120 volt power as its, uh, as its electrical power source. Uh, in the integrated version, the system comes with a mounting bracket. This mounting bracket attaches directly to either our ducted self-contained systems or our split systems on any size, uh, quarter ton through two ton capacity. This adapter plate mounts to either side of the cold air section of the unit. So it offers extreme flexibility as far as mounting the humidifier. Um, say you've got the, humi the wine guardian unit mounted up against a wall. As long as you have at least 15 inches in front of that unit, you can attach this adapter plate onto the side of one of the open panels with screws supplied with uh, the kit. And then that humidifier slides right onto that adapter piece and then bolts onto the side of the unit. Once it's securely mounted to the Wine Guardian system, you're gonna plug in the power cord supplied with the humidifier into the side of the Wine Guardian unit. You'll notice a female type connection at the side of the unit, clearly labeled humidifier and that's where this power source plugs into. You're given about 25 feet of cable here, so there's more than enough cable for installation flexibility. Let's talk about the installation of our standalone version of humidifier. At time of order, your distributor is gonna ask you how you plan to or how you intend to mount the humidifier within your wine cellar. Will it be a through the wall type of mount? or on the racking, or through the racking, or will it be a surface mount? You'll need to know that prior to ordering the system. Now granted, you can change uh, once you've got the, uh, the wine cellar built and have a better understanding. The brackets are always available from Wine Guardian, but it's good to know beforehand so you can get the right parts ordered and you have everything handy for the, for the installation. Let's talk about the through wall application. Um, the through the wall, is, is essentially that. You, you're going to uh, provide a cutout in the wall of your wine cellar, roughly 14 and a half inches wide by 16 inches high. The humidifier will slip through that opening, given our bracket, and provide humidity control within the wine cellar with a decorative face. And the back portion of, it, of the humidifier will be accessible through maybe a mechanical space or another part of the living area. Installation is really very simple. Cutting the opening by 14, 14 and a half by 16 inches wide. Once the opening is created and framed, you're going to mount the appropriate bracket for through the wall applications. Comes with the kit. The bracket attaches at several points around the opening and you wanna make sure that that is uh, secure, flat to the wall and sealed. Once that bracket is in place, the next step is to take the front cover off of the humidifier. As we've shown before, two screws at the bottom of the humidifier will remove the face plate. Once that face plate has is, is been removed, you're, you're going to make your water and drain connections through that opening. So you want to make sure that you have your flexible connections for your water supply and your drain available and through that penetration through the wall. You make your water connection at the top of the unit, quarter inch supply line. Again, a warmer water connection is better, 100 degrees maximum. It'll give you better capacity, better performance out of the humidifier and allow you to add more moisture into the space. Half inch drain tube connection at the bottom of the unit. This can be tied into a, an open floor drain that's available, a sink, condensate pump, um, a device that will take water away from the unit. Again, water will drain from this system only when there's a call for humidity. So once these connections are made at the back of the unit, you are going to slide the whole device through the wall and attach it to the mounting bracket that's in place. An attachment is at several securing points on the perimeter of the bracket. If you chose to surface mount, 
the humidifier within the wine cellar, we would ship you this U-shaped bracket. Again, very simple to install. There are several mounting locations on the back of this U-shaped bracket. You want to make sure that you mount the humidifier in an area where it's accessible. As you know, this will be providing moisture into the, into the airstream, so um, you don't want it in an area that is uh, confined uh, behind racking. Uh, it needs to be out in the open. When mounting the, uh, the U-shaped wall bracket, you want to pay attention to specifically where this will be mounted and potential stud locations, uh, wood stud locations. Uh, anchors may be required um, so you sufficiently hold the weight of the humidifier. As mentioned, this is a, a pretty rugged ABS plastic design. It is lightweight uh, and corrosion resistant, so uh, there isn't a lot of weight to it, but uh, be careful to make sure that you provide enough uh, anchorage into the wall, either through stud placement or uh, specific anchors onto the brackets. Once this bracket is in place, Again, you'll remove the, the decorative face plate that's part of the humidifier. Two screws at the bottom of the unit. Lift up and off of the tabs that are on top. It's at that point you want to make your connections for water and drain at the back. Similar to what we've done before, you want a flexible connection for a quarter inch line for water supply and a half inch line for the drain connections. The humidifier now slides onto the bracket attaches at four points at the end of the U, that we'll call it, and humidifier is installed. I'd like to point out that the humidity set point uh, from the factory on any Wine Guardian system is set to 55% RH. Uh, that can easily be adjusted um, upwards, or downwards for that matter, but upwards uh, to 70% RH, uh, or for, for other applications, not only wine storage, long-term wine storage, uh, but other applications, you can go as high as 95% RH. We don't, we don't condone that uh, because of mold growth and other uh, uh, complexities of it, but uh, the controller itself has that ability. From the factory, it's set at 55%, and you can change that if need be, depending on your, uh, your uh, likeness for humidity level in your wine cellar. Um, just to point out, uh, we talk about water temperatures speeding the humidifier. Um, in our specifications, we give uh, a couple different examples of uh, temperatures ranging from 60 degrees Fahrenheit uh, up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You can really uh, see the capacity difference. It almost doubles uh, the ability to add moisture into, uh, into the airstream, um, going from uh, roughly four pounds per hour of moisture into the air to uh, at least one 1.1 pound per hour uh, when we uh, increase from 60 degree Fahrenheit water to 100 degrees Fahrenheit water. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, warmer is better um, to add moisture into the space, especially when we're dealing with um, colder temperatures, uh, typically coming off of a Wine Guardian system. Once the humidifier has been installed, whether it's standalone version, or the integrated, we ask that you go to our Wine Guardian controller and setting number six within the controller is where you change the humidifier setting to recognize that the system has a humidifier connected. You're going to change that to number one for a standalone and number two for an integrated. Integrated mounted to the Wine Guardian system and number one for a standalone version of the humidifier. Once that's changed, the system will allow you to go in and change your humidity set point. Like I said, 55% from our factory, but you can change that. It'll allow you to do so, and it will also pay attention to the high and low humidity alarms that are part of the package. 95% for the high side, and 5% for the low side. Those also can be changed if need be.